Hi everybody, if your Windows is experiencing crashes, random application launches or other unmanageable problems, as well as if your Windows cannot boot after turning on the computer, watch my video, and I hope that you will find something useful here and be able to solve your problem. Windows 8, Windows 10 and Windows 11 have a built-in system recovery program, and if your system boots without problems, press the shift key on your keyboard, hold it, and restart your computer. The main menu of the recovery program opened and this was the first way to enter the system recovery environment. During this video tutorial you will learn about all the functions of this program, today I will show you how each section works, and tell you which method is best for you to solve your problem with your computer. Method number 2. How to open OS recovery program. If, after turning on the computer, Windows freezes on its logo, Press the reset button on the system unit to force restart the PC or hold the power button until the computer turns off, and after a few seconds turn the PC back on. When the Windows logo first appears, immediately press the reset button again, or force shut down the computer, on the laptop, use the power button to force shut down. Do this two or three times until a white font appears on the screen, this is loading the system recovery program. Perhaps automatic recovery will work on your computer and the problem will be solved, but if the system does not detect the problem, then click, advanced settings, and to continue the recovery process. The main menu of the program has opened, press, troubleshoot. In Windows 8, this may look different, but the content of the options will remain the same. If your computer has a serious problem, or it has started to work very slowly and randomly reboot, or you suspect that a virus has penetrated you, then you can use the reset this PC function. If you choose keep my files, then as a result of the process, the system will be cleared of all malicious programs, viruses, and so on, all your photos, videos, documents and passwords will be saved. But all programs and applications that you installed yourself will be completely deleted. Therefore, you can take your time to use this function and please watch video to the very end. Perhaps you will find another way to restore your computer and then you will not lose your programs and applications. If you select the second function, remove everything, then your C drive will be formatted, all data will be deleted and a new Windows will be installed on your computer, which will work as if you bought a computer in a store. And so, I click, keep my files. In this window we see two options, here we can choose to download files from the cloud, or we can download recovery files located on the computer. If you suspect that some Windows files on your computer may be corrupted and therefore causing the problem, then you need to opt for cloud download and your computer will receive new files from the internet. I choose to upload files locally. In this window we see a complete list of changes on the computer as a result of this process. To start the process, click, Reset. In order not to make the video too long, I will not show the details of this process here, for this I have a video tutorial on my channel, and it shows the whole process step by step from the beginning to the very end. The link to this video is in the description of my video. To open the main menu of the recovery program again, I click, Cancel. Click, Troubleshoot. Here click, Advanced Options. Lick, Startup Repair. The computer restarts and the recovery program runs diagnostics on the computer to find and fix errors. The diagnostic process has ended, and perhaps the errors on your computer will be fixed, but if the problem is still not resolved, then click, Advanced Options. In the main menu of the program, you again need to select Troubleshoot. Here click, Advanced Options. Now go ahead and click, Startup Settings. This section provides the ability to boot the computer in different modes. Consider some of them, and click, Restart. A menu has opened where you can choose the Windows boot method that suits you. Select the option you need and press the corresponding number with the letter F. For example, if you suspect that the cause of the crash in the system is some program that you recently installed, 
then select the setting, enable safe mode. To do this, press the F4 key. My Windows 11 booted in safe mode, some services are disabled, and therefore a lot of things look different here. If you remember which program you installed before the system started having problems, open, settings, then applications, find this program, uninstall it, Restart your computer and check the solution to your problem. If the problem is not resolved, download the system recovery program again. Here click, Advanced Options. The next option, Troubleshooting with Command Prompt. In order not to make this video too long, I will skip the introduction to the Command Prompt, this needs a separate video review. Next. Click, Troubleshoot. Here click, Advanced Options Sometimes problems in Windows occur due to updates received from Microsoft or an update to some program or feature. To remove these latest updates, click Uninstall Updates and follow the system's recommendations. You can do the same thing in the second part of this function. It is possible that after uninstalling these updates, your problems will be resolved. Next. If you click here, your computer will reboot and the BIOS will open, and you can try to solve some problems directly in the BIOS. A good way to get rid of problems, you can restore the system using a previously created restore point on your computer. Sometimes restore points are created automatically, but by default, restore point creation is disabled. Click, System Restore, and if your computer does not have a restore point, you will immediately see this window. I'm sorry, but then you won't be able to solve your problem in this function, because such a point needs to be created in advance. This is what old folk wisdom says, if there is a fire in the house, then it will be too late to dig a well. I have already created such a point, and here the system warns that after recovery, all your documents and other data will not be affected, but some data and programs installed after creating the recovery point will be lost. Next. Here you need to click on the restore point, and click, next. Next. Here you need to carefully read the process conditions, and if you are ready to begin system recovery, click, finish. The last warning of the program, I click, yes, and the recovery process has begun. After some waiting, the process completed successfully, I click, Restart. The computer has rebooted, and we see a message about the successful completion of the system restore. You may not have bothered to create a system restore point in advance, but I hope that when you solve all the problems on your computer, you will definitely create such a good opportunity to restore your computer. You can see how to create a system restore point in my other video, the link to this video is in the description. This concludes my video review, and if you found it useful, please share my video with anyone. Thank you very much.